Om Tat Sat. My humble prostrations to the all-pervading energy, also known as Brahman or God, to my worshipful Guruji, Swami Jyotirmanandji Maharaj, to all the sages and saints of this world, and to each of you, divine soul, watching this satsang. Today we will be covering Sutra number 24 and Sutra number 25. Two sutras, since 24 is fairly short and succinct. Um, this is from the Sadhana Pad of the Raja Yoga Sutras of Patanjali Maharaj, commentary by my Pujniya Gurudev, Swami Jyotirmananda Ji, and narrated by myself, Swami Nikhilananda. So, Sutra number 24 says, Tasya Hetur Avidya. Let's repeat, Tasya Hetur Avidya, which means ignorance is the cause of the contact. In Sutra number 5 of the Sadhana Path, we had covered this in great detail. We had covered Avidya. So that explains the nature of Avidya. So let's now go on to, so those of you who want to get a refresher, please uh, watch Sutra number 5 that we had covered in this Sadhana Path. Let's move on to Sutra number 25. It says, Tada Bhavat Sanyoga Abhavo Hanam Tadrishehe Kaivalyam. Let's repeat. Tad Bhavat Sanyoga Abhavo Hanam Tadrishehe Kaivalyam. Tad means that Abhavat by the removal, Sanyoga contact, Abhavo the end of. Hanam is the cessation of pain. Tad, that drishah of that seer and kevalyam is mukti or liberation, the end goal. So meaning is, with the removal of ignorance, there is the end of contact. So the contact between the seer and the seen and the interacting experience is only because of ignorance. So once ignorance is removed, there is the end of that contact and therefore that sthiti, that, that achievement is called kevalyam, that is the final step and therefore you will not be born anymore after that. You have decoded the mystery of this universe and you have identified um, the cause of reincarnation. So I hope you are understanding the profundity and the depth of these, uh, the intelligence built into this, uh, this uh, whole process very scientific but but you have to experience it it's not like a textbook study it is a personal experience of your meditation your journey your sadhana so the explanation when ignorance is removed by knowledge knowledge intuitive knowledge this is called vivek khyati vivek is intuitive uh, discrimination and that permanent knowledge that you have been uh, bestowed with through god's grace and your self effort the seer seer is the purusha or the self in man is no longer associated with the chitta or mind stuff he has decoded it and therefore is no longer going to make contact with the unconscious and the subconscious again and that which is an effect of the scene so all these uh, uh, experiences that we are putting in our subconscious subconscious or unconscious are through the good and bad experiences with the interacting experience so once the self has identified that it no longer is attached to that and that is the goal of the yogic movement the end goal and that is known as kevalya which is supreme independence or liberation which means you merge back into that super consciousness that cosmic energy we call God all pervading Brahman and at that point you are no longer going to be born again so the method of removing ignorance will be described in sutra number 26 this is Swami Nikhilananda Om Tat